So today we're going to be taking a look at Dead Space 3. Where we pick things up here, Isaac and Carver have crash landed on the ice planet Tau Volantis. And we're going to be making our way into this biology facility. And we're going to showcase some of the differences between the single player and the co-op campaign. So when we come out of, out of the, uh, the facility here, there's going to be a gunship that's tracking us down where the unitologists are, are kind of hunting down Isaac and Carver. So we have to avoid the spotlight or else they're going to start shooting at us. Let's get out of there. So this is one of our new enemies in DS3 called the Twitcher. Uh, we had seen him before in some of the previous versions of the game, but he's been uh, kind of revamped with new AI and new model and all, all new uh, kind of attacks. As you can see, he's pretty quick. One of the other new features we'll be showing off today is uh, the scavenger bot. So this kind of ties into our whole weapon crafting system, which is brand new for DS3. And you use this bot, if you have one in your inventory, to search for resources in the world. So with the radar, it's kind of pointing me into a hot spot. And then once I find one, the UI turns green there and I can drop it down. The bot will then go about collecting resources that after a certain amount of time will be deposited back in my bench. So I don't have to do anything once I've dropped them. I can just go along and then there's, uh, if you open up your inventory and scroll over, you can actually see how much time it's gonna take for, for the bot to return back to the bench. So he'll be back in around 10 minutes. You can drop the bot anywhere pretty much, but if you don't drop him uh, on a hot, hot spot, you're not gonna get as many resources as you would. So that brief sequence you saw just there uh, was unique to play when you're playing in co-op. It's one of, our, uh, one of our beta missions, and what you saw there was this toy soldier, and only the, the, the co-op player, Carver, would see that on the, on the host machine as Isaac. You wouldn't be seeing that because that's uh, part of the unique dementia that Carver's experiencing. So if you see also on my screen here, like I see all these toy soldiers that are, you know, kind of uh, from Carver's backstory. That's, those are his son's toys that he's seeing. And Isaac doesn't see any of this, so this is, this is specific to Carver, and again, is only something that you'll experience when you're playing in co-op. And so it unlocked this other, this mission that we're gonna go down, and uh, we'll see what happens.
toy soldiers. So this is kind of another example of the divergent uh, gameplay that you get in, in co-op. So that log is actually from Carver's ex-wife, or dead wife, I should say. And, uh, you know, Isaac, again, would be hearing something totally different. Like, this is all going on in Carver's head. I mean, they're in here together, but he, by him experiencing dementia, there's going to be some slight differences that, between the two players. Right now things got really crazy, so when I tried to open that door, I actually got transported into my own mind, into uh, what we're calling Dementia Land. So this is obviously not really happening, but Carver's experiencing hardcore dementia, so he's really kind of tripping out, stuck in his own head. And while this is going on, on the host machine, as, as uh, Isaac, he has to actually defend me, because on his machine, he doesn't see any of this, he's just seeing kind of a me holding my head, tripping out, and he has to defend me from the necromorphs that are attacking in the real world. And I'm just kind of making my way and fighting through my own demons right now. Now I've kind of come back. Carver, what happened? She wants something from me, Isaac. I want something? Who? What'd you see? I think she wants me to join them? Whatever you're seeing, it's not real, man. You gotta trust me here, okay? You want me? Huh? I'm right here tomorrow, come on! So Dead Space 3 will be coming out February 5th and February 8th in the UK on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC.